everybody. Welcome back. It is 55 We're and back. 5. We're back. We took a week off. Why not, right? A little vacation never hurt anybody. I was in the bubble. You were here in beautiful Pennsylvania. <laughs> Wonderful. And <laughs> yeah, we had a good time. I'm so glad to be back with Carrie, with AJ, our producer, with Uncle Gunny, Captain Lou Albano. And Carrie, coming back strong. We're on the second half of the set. There's 121 cards. Once we hit episode 61, it's all downhill from there. Let's go. Let's go. Wasting no time. We're on episode 65. To catch up with the premise, we get five minutes to talk about each card in the 1955 Parkhurst Wrestling set. If Carrie or I are unsure or do not know the wrestler, I have a little safety net with some information about the wrestler. And Carrie can go to that anytime. We keep it to five minutes to keep this brief, to keep you engaged, and they make it a five minute history lesson. So the first card we have for you on 55 and 5, he, the hint, he is a man who was born in Australia, got his seasoning in the UK, and he became a great broadcaster. So I will show this to you here. And I think Am I, I know, gonna know this name. I you'll know the name. You might be thinking of the wrong person because that describes two people with almost the same name. I'm not even gonna look. Okay. Is it, is it Lord Layton? Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. There you go. Lord Alfin Layton. Lord Al Layton. The original Lord Al. Okay. What do I know about Lord Layton? He was had a great wrestling career, mm -hmm. but prior to the advent of YouTube, I saw his name in the wrestling magazines, and where I associated with him in the six, late 60s, early 70s was he was a, a commentator yeah. on the Sheik. Yeah, in Detroit. Detroit. Yeah. The big time wrestling. Mm -hmm. And did you ever see that movie, I Like to Hurt People? Yes. He might be in that, and mm -hmm. certainly on YouTube, there's some uh, one-hour shows from Detroit. And Lord Layton, uh, he wasn't going to take any crap from the Sheik. Right. But uh, He wrestled the Sheik quite a bit, even he, as a commentator. Yeah. What a picture. That's a good one. It's a good action shot. He, he stands at six foot six, so he's in there. It's interesting. They always had him paired against other tall men for the most part what i could find i think he's maybe wrestling billy watt is that whipper watson sure it looks like whipper billy watson and what's interesting about that uh they would become extended rivals and he would team with a guy named george bolus in uh 52. that's a zebra kid zebra kid and they they took on watson and yukon eric okay and they fought forever and ever it was like macho man and hogan where if there was a match you know with whipper billy watson it was kind of that cool... Did we do Yukon Eric in the set? Oh, not yet, but you may have guessed one of the guys from this week. Oh. <laughs> so, But Lord Layton, a uh, famous <laughs> opponent for Whipper Billy Watson. That is Whipper Billy Watson, now that I'm looking at it. Uh, Lord Layton, it says he's 6'6". Um, interesting, his debut, he, he first wrestled in Singapore. <laughs> he had one match in Singapore, which is very interesting. And then he came to Canada Comes to Maple Leaf Wrestling in on November 2nd, 1950, and wrestles Sky High Lee. So two of the two real giants. giants. Yeah, 6'9 and 6'6. Six, six. So imagine he leaves Australia. He goes to Singapore. Has <laughs> one wrestling match. One match. They pay him enough money, unless he was loaded. <laughs> right. With, loaded with cash, and he heads to Canada. Yeah. Goes to Canada. He's there for a while. I mean, he is a, a Canada staple through the 50s. Uh, he's a big time villain. Foe Whipper Billy Watson, classic feud. Uh, the NWA British Empire title is the title they fought for in, in Maple Leaf Wrestling. From there. Uh, Did he have some history in Hawaii? He, you were. Yeah, absolutely. So he goes to he, Lord James Blears comes in in 52 and they team. And then it goes to San Francisco with Blears and Ricky Dozen. Okay. From there, uh, becomes on and off rivals with the Sharp Brothers in San Francisco and Hawaii. Uh, wrestles in, in LA, becomes a big TV star with Lord James Blears as a tag team. And uh, then they eventually become a big, big fan favorites. And they wrestle a little bit in Hawaii as a team. Come back to Maple Leaf Wrestling. His first stint as a broadcaster is in 61 in Toronto. Uh, he's still wrestling, beats Dick the Bruiser for the Detroit U.S. title wow. in 62. And then settles down after that as a Detroit commentator, also commentator for, for uh, NWA Upstate in Cleveland and Toronto. So he's mostly, there's a certain generation of fans that know him as a rival to Whipper Billy Watson. If you ask somebody 10 years older than that, they know him as a commentator. And he's a name that gets overlooked and 
I always think it's interesting because the Detroit posters advertise him as the announcer. It's one of the few announcers you'll see on That's the posters. Interesting. And the Maybe program. I have one downstairs. You may. And, and he's on a lot of the programs as well. And he's one of the attractions. So, yeah, Lord Al Lathan. You knew a lot about Lord Al Lathan. No, I knew something. Yeah. Felt what a, good. Felt good. <laughs> this was a good one. Lord Al Lathan. And tomorrow we got somebody who you know very well. Okay. The big time Madison Square Garden headliner. I'll give you that hint. All right. But under a name you may not have, may not know. So that's your hint. So today, Lord Layton, maybe we'll do Lord James Bleers. Maybe he's in the set as well. We'll get to him. We've got the headliner tomorrow. And we're getting to Yukon Erico. Still Eric. no little people. No little people. We're getting to Yukon Erico. You guessed one. Okay. We're getting a little we're getting to Yukon Eric this week. So that was fun. And we did that in under four minutes, Carrie. Well, that was a good one. 55 and 5 is back. We're back, baby. <laughs> I want to thank everybody. We know we only have a handful of dedicated viewers right now. So if you're watching this in 2021, we appreciate you. We know over time there's going to be more folks that latch on. We see the early videos carry. It's exciting. They're getting over 100 views now. Some are picking up steam, 50, 60, 70 views. So as we do more of these, it's exciting to see the new viewers chime in. Yes, it's also exciting uh, and we like when these true historians, I am not a true historian. You got guys like Tim Hornbecker, mm -hmm. Al Getz. Al Getz. He's great. Who John travels, Bou travels to Louisiana to look at the libraries right. for microfiche. John Boucher, mm -hmm. um, Mike Mooneyham, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to mispronounce his name, Roy. Roy Lucier. Yeah. Right. You know, these guys do a lot of research and I'm leaving a lot out, but yeah. So I don't mind. Uh, I welcome Absolutely. Information. And this all started because I bought these cards and <laughs> my wonderful wife, Sarah, who supports every weird endeavor, said, I bet you don't know half these guys. And I didn't. And she was right. So we're learning. And that's why we're doing this. <laughs> so, Carrie, I appreciate you being on this mission. Our mission from God to, to <laughs> learn all the 1955 Parkhurst wrestlers. <laughs> and we enjoy you being with us. So tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern, live premiere date for all of these every weekday, 55 and 5 going to have an MSG headliner tomorrow. Hope you join us. Happy wrestling.